Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does signal get transported on a cable system? Imagine flipping through channels on your TV. Have you ever wondered how that signal got to you? It all starts with a source, like a TV station. This station generates the content you love to watch. This content is then converted into an electrical signal, but that's just the beginning. This electrical signal needs a way to travel. Enter the cable system, which is like a superhighway for signals. The signal is now on a journey, and the cable is its vehicle. This vehicle can be a coaxial cable, which is common in many homes. Coaxial cables are designed to shield the signal from interference. They have an inner conductor surrounded by insulation. Around this insulation is a metallic shield. This shield does more than just protect. It also carries the signal efficiently. The signal, in its protected state, zips through the cable network. It passes through various amplifiers, which are like pit stops. These amplifiers boost the signal, ensuring it doesn't tire out on its way to you. Finally, the signal reaches its destination, your home. Here, a receiver, such as a cable box, interprets the signal. It translates this signal into the images and sounds on your TV. And voila, you're ready to binge watch your favorite series or catch the evening news. So next time you're lounging on the couch enjoying your shows, remember the amazing journey that Signal took to get to you. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.